we're back on deck. Um, same date, time is 19:35, 7:35 for my civilians. So let me show you all this guy. All right, so this is where the sun is set there, right behind that cloud. Still, it's still up. All right, so you got some asteroids right here. Let me zoom in on them. Yo, I just witnessed like an epic. This is this is the whole planet bottom. And this is the dark side. See where the top is lit up? Top of the planet where the sun is hitting. Then you see the whole dark side right here. Some clouds on the dark side, kind of dim lit. Then uh, that really lit. I can see that real clear. And over here is like a small asteroid fragment. Yeah, it's a body with asteroids around it. I see it now. Over here, smaller bodies, debris. Let me make sure I'm seeing this right. Oh no, there's a whole planet. So, okay, there it is. All right, so this is the whole thing right here. All right, for some reason, you can see the surface on it. I know some people are like, oh, those are just clouds. No, look at the surface. You can literally see the surface. Surface, surface, I can see it. Then it's got uh, this one swooshing around to the dark side. There's a comet in the dark. The comet show up, everything in the center, it shows up black. The center of the camera, that's the actual body. It's in the black. The clouds are lighting up. Just like this little moon plan. I don't know what kind of metal this stuff is made of or or land material material i'm trying to say material but it always shows up dark maybe our sky has something to do with it there's our moon in front of another big planet so here's our moon right there's a bigger planet behind it now that big storm that passed over there's another moon a big planet asteroid moon or some crap i can't no i don't know everything that passed over is here, this is the biggest portion that passed over right here. See this body right here? One, um, let me do a count up. Might be all one big one, two possibly, three right there above my head. Maybe it's all connected in this jacket. Let me zoom you in. We're gonna get close. Okay, so there's rocky terrain right there. You see it? Mm, these are clouds. I'm guessing. I don't know if they're coming off rocky terrain or not. I don't know. This part is crazy. I'm trying to see the dimensions of it. All right, but you can definitely. I'm gonna come back to it. I'm trying to show you as much as I can before I detail. This is the whole storm that passes. This is the whole body planet right here. I definitely can see that. Let me get a walk away. I need to walk around. Hold up. All right, so we saw this. It's a clearing in the sky. I think we went through some kind of vortex. We went through some kind of vortex. Today, it was like a like a cyclone type deal. All I know is that the big storm came and the next thing I know we were in the eye. And now everything is cleared in a big pattern. Let me go around from west, all the way back to west. So we got this big loop. Here we go. West, north, east south and then we got this big opening right here this big clearing big clearing all right so you see all that um there's a moon right there like i said so something the way it came through it was like a, a cyclone and then it cleared out it literally cleared out and then it kind of dispersed i, I literally recorded these uh the the, 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 the asteroids going in it's like we were in the eye of the a, a spatial hurricane 
I'm trying to locate the part, the, the part, the planets now. This is crazy. Real crazy. I'm trying to locate anybody. So there's a body right there. Center. See it all lit up. That's a more than likely a moon or asteroidal deal. And I already showed you this one behind the moon. <laughs> Look at this one right here. See the craters on the land, the land mass. All this right here. All right, you see that? So some of it's coming out, you can see it. Coming out, going in, back around, whatever, whatever. See that one? I think we got a whole cluster of them. Well, like I said, one big one. And then this one comes out right. Oh, I almost lost it. Here, goes out, comes in, goes back around. All right. This one right here. I'm like literally showing y'all how these rocks look. Let me zoom in on this one. Um, for somebody to think that I'm pretending. See the outer, small, uh, the, the more thinned out body, the uh, so-called clouds. That's the round of the planet pushing away from our view. And the thick of it is right here. This is crazy. Like this stuff is literally just sitting all over us. And like this whole mass here, like, this stuff literally comes in and just sits here all freaking day. And even at nighttime, like I Uber at night. The reason why I Uber at night, cause it's cooler. The reason why I do that, cause like I'm not burning my car up. And I literally, I got night vision. So all these clouds are purple. Matter of fact, when I'm Ubering tonight, I'll put my camera up and like it's a plasmatic purple at nighttime and it's lit up, dimly lit. Look, there's a freaking planetoid right here. See it? All this stuff shows up clearly. There's an asteroid right here. Like it's got a tail. I was trying to make that one out, but I got it now. I really wish this stuff would like really come out into the clear. Look at this little moon. Oh, this is beautiful. Epic, the little moon asteroid. And the one to the right, they're following this one. This one looks like it's following that one cause the tail, look at the tail teardrop. Or they're both connected. It's hard to tell. And then you can see this one. Shows up real beautifully. It's got asteroids swirling around. It's actually a bigger one and a smaller one. Okay, so this is a bigger one. And then it's got a small one over the top. Got a sm even smaller one to the right. Then below that one, or in front of it, is another bigger one. So there's four asteroidal bodies that were probably once connected, but they're sharing orbits now to the bigger one. This is the big one, and these little ones are sharing the orbit. Same thing over here. Slice of a, this is a slice of a moon or an asteroid. Might be my old CNI. Sometimes that thing shows up, you'll just barely see the, eye, the iris. And then the rest of this goes out into the dark of space. I'm telling you, our sun is not 93 million miles away and it's, it's small. Like roughly, probably a little bit bigger, bigger than the moon or, you know, just as, as big as the moon. And it lights up slices of these planets when they get into a certain alignment. And this is how a lot of y'all been tricked. And the people in charge that shoot missiles up there and rockets with cameras, they know what's up. And there should be no reason for them to come at me any kind of way. I ain't telling on nobody. Like I said, you're get, you you withheld this information from the people. And if I'm right, then you're getting in my way of telling it by shadow manning me, uh, blocking me from getting my message out, you know, just things of that nature. And it makes no sense when I know what I'm talking about. And then I got people of a lower echelon screaming at me that they're just effing clouds. So government, NASA, those in charge that can survey the space, please, let the people know that I'm right. Let's get over ourselves. Because I know you're afraid of starting to lose, you're going to lose money. At the end of the day, it's all about capital. We just lost capital because this third eye crap dude is told on us. But I'm not worried about y'all. This is a story that my God started out with us that y'all subverted, whoever y'all are. Look at this little moon right here. All right, that's nice. Not a cloud. I'll tell you where our clouds are. Let me find our earth clouds. They probably all ran the hell away. Okay, there we go. So, in the dark, in the dark, there's our earth clouds. And thank God for this aircraft coming through. He's going off in front of them. Uh, I can make out our earth clouds, and it's not that many out right now. They're kind of just on, oh, where that, where that jet go to? Oh, I lost them. 
I'll pick him up in a minute. Anyway, you, you might can see him, you might not. I don't know. Oh, there he is. He kind of went into a shadow. Um, now, thank God for these guys flying. Because you can pretty much catch them in front of the right lower echelon earth clouds. Okay, here goes some more lower earth clouds. There we go. All these right here. The shadowed ones, not the ones that's lit. The ones that's, again, lit in the pure. That's our higher echelon asteroids. Oh, clouds coming off of this body right here. This is all land terrain upside down. Let's, let's get in there. This is perfect. So this is land terrain. See it? Jagged, dangerous, alien terrain. Let me back it out. Just had to go into like a little certain sections. This is all like jagged, y'all. I'm trying to see if I can see through it. It's cloud intermixed with landmass, and that's why you can't see everything. And I'm looking for a mountain or a crater, anything of that sort. And then uh, from my position, they're all compounded all over each other. So you got to stand here and literally be quiet. Like if I put my camera in one direction or one in one spot and don't touch it for a good hour, then you'll start seeing the dimensions unfold as they cross each other. The reason why I say this, I've done this like before I really got to this point, I was sitting there for um, hours. Because at the time I had a broken leg, I wasn't working. And I had to get out of the house. And uh, I, sur I was surveying the sky already since 2000, early in my life. Before that, really. But when these, th these things started coming in, like I said, I was on the Navy ship out in the Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean. And I kept seeing the same patterns emerging. And they were slowly emerging. But they were far back, and then every year they just kept getting closer and closer and closer. And I need to do a, my compilation video where I started seeing these same patterns from way out getting closer. Look, there's my little moon right there. See it in the dark? Got this one right here. <laughs> That's lit up. And then this one. Let me see. Hmm. You can see the asteroid. So the asteroid right there. Coming around this moon planet. And this little asteroid right here. And this asteroid's right here, all this cluster of asteroids. Oh, there's a jet. Oh, that's one of them fast jets. This is one of my favorite jets. These little fast ones, I wrote on a few of these. They're pretty cool. I'm following him to see how the cloud's gonna contrast against him. Which he's low, he's like literally at the airport. Inbound for the airport. You see he's coming from the west. Okay, yeah. Look, oh, there's another one. Oh, where, where'd he go? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, down. There he is. I was too high. That one just left the airport. And you can see the space rock behind him. See, look at that. My God. My God. See all those half lit space rocks behind him. So I imagine what the pilot seeing. And then here's the moon. This is a slice of a planet right here, or asteroid, actually not the moon, or uh, bigger than the moon that's behind the moon. Look how the moon is out in the clear. Let's see what else? Oh, this right here. Get in close. Yeah, people knew that this is a big, um, big planetoid above our heads. They freak out all this, or it's a cluster of asteroids. It's either one of the two. A cluster of asteroids, a big planet, and you can see the clouds along with the landmass pushing off right here. These are clouds over landmass. Clouds disperse, y'all, like, and they get fluffy. Clouds are not like compacted hugging the terrain of whatever that is I, I keep trying to like tell people it's like I keep hitting the reset button every day with people okay so like this is an earth cloud let me get you in there unfortunately they got asteroids behind them see the fluffiness fluffy 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 just cause they're in our atmosphere right then when you get past that you get 
these clouds intermix with terrain coming off these rocks and this this is literally rock matter of fact i just located the nest of this planet okay here we go so it's a big planet with little planets around so this is the right side of the whole planet right come above my head way up yep 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 all back around and there's a nest right there there's always clouds that pinch up from the earth's atmosphere when this thing comes in contact with our atmosphere those little white clouds that's, that are pushing up that's where this planet is punching into our atmosphere so it's got to be a big asteroid man this is crazy look at it, this whole thing go around the circle and it's got this is its tail okay yep yep the sun is burning this section of it i can see the drift so all the drift is going this way the sun is burning it uh it's integrated with other heavenly bodies it's going all the way back this way and this is the nest of it right here all right i see it i think it's multiple planets so you got one right here yep and one right here there it is yep this one right here so this is the planet coming all the way up boom then there's uh one right here come all the way up boom and this thing's about to pass behind the moon right here so i'm gonna have to be here to get it i'm gonna get my night vision and take a look and take a look and then i'm gonna let this thing just kind of um run through the sky so i can time lapse it i need to be able to time lapse it let me see which side we're gonna take um i'm gonna go with this one it's going away from the sun so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be looking around, but I need to put my camera on a spot. So I'm gonna put it on this planet right here, right above, spinning away from the mall, but my top of my vehicle, I need to get most of it in there. So the mall's kind of in the way. I'm gonna let it sit right there and just I'm gonna start surveying with my night vision. So y'all hang tight. I'm gonna spin this around. So I want it to be on the moon. This planet's starting to go behind the moon. Let me see. Up, up, up. There we go. And we're gonna zoom. Put the moon in the center. Right there. Put the moon in the center. Actually, I put the moon off to the right, so we can see majority of the planet and back it off a little bit. So we're gonna leave it right there. All right, so I'm gonna back it off the moon. Um, see the whole planet just contouring behind the moon. This is the actual planet, y'all. Notice how the cloud pattern does not change. That's how you know it's micro clouds. Micro meaning they're at a distance from me and closer to its surface. Even the planetoid behind me is starting to come out, but this one, uh, because we are familiar with our moon, I want to put our moon into it and this is the earth clouds or what's being formatted up under this planet i think this is Mapicity. no our two yep Mapicity is behind us that's the one i was looking at earlier and this is our two yep i know i'm right look at it beautiful ain't it and that's our two and our two's moon i don't know where it is i'll find it in a second if it's on this side Okay, yeah, there it is. So that's our two. And that's our two's moon. That's my night vision. This is our two's moon. Bottom, top. Uh, yeah. And back to our two. Hold on. Back to our two. Put my night vision down. I'm about to show you the pissity. So this is our two, our two, our two. They trade clouds with the pissity, which is way over here. All this right here sitting on this nest and this is uh so okay so we're gonna start right here coming around into the nest back up and see how it's pushing up so it going back out into space and then it merges with our two now the other ones i don't know where they are yuri saru matem matem is probably over by the sun but yeah <laughs> Look, i got people i'm gonna put them on because they're y'all shouldn't they're like all up in my face trying to figure out what's going on these people right here don't want to zoom in on them but like if you go they're, they're, i have a lot of people that make like funny gestures and jokes 
trying to figure out what I'm doing. And when they can't figure it out, they try to make a uh, a spectacle at a distance. Like they kind of scoff me. Look at all this land terrain behind the moon. Look how clear the moon is. That's what I was trying to get at. Let me see if I can get in closer. Hang tight. All right, so um, we're gonna get in closer to the moon if I can. Yep, matter of fact, let me set my, let me set this down. I wanna get as close as I can to the moon without shaking. Give me a second. I want y'all to see that landmass. Behind the moon. Look how clear the moon is. Getting as close, yep, as close as I can get. Try to tilt it up some. Oops, down. Damn. This is the eye of my camera keeps trying to move and it's all over the place. So you see this, it might do some kind of micro adjust, but it's on the stick. I'm zoomed in and just want to show you how clear the moon is. And the dark side of the moon is going to get lit up tonight by this planetary because it's going to be sitting there for a while. As soon as it gets dark, what time is it? Time right now is uh, 2000. So, in about an hour, when it's gonna be dark, the dark side of the moon is gonna light up. Right, let's zoom back. That's your whole planet. Top two. Oh my god. Okay, so what I was looking at earlier, hold on. Look at the moon of this one came out. See, this is what we was looking at earlier. Look how the moon just popped out. The side is lit up by the sun. <laughs> it's got an asteroid with it. So you can see the side is lit up. Oh, look at it. Look at that. And then it's got a asteroid. A slice of it being lit up. Looks like an asteroid. And then it's got the tail of it right here. Sweeping off. And it's right next to... Uh, <laughs> Can't get the word out. The city. Look at this, man. The whole thing's just forming up. It's just forming up. Look at it. It's projecting out. And these things are not smooth like the way they project in the Earth. These things are lumpy. They've been beat to hell. Why does it look like my all seeing eye? Iris. Give me a second. I don't know why a lot of these things look like my iris. It might be it, because you know it showed up that side of the sun anyway. Unless the Pisity does have an all seeing eye. Is the all seeing eye. Or one of its moons. It's my all C and I. Yep, see, look. Yep. <laughs> That's the surface of it. Damn, it's close. Clouded surface. Look at those lines, those ridges. That's indicative of like water that was ice that heated up and ran from across the eye. That's, That's your whole iris going down. And it's looking down at the sun. Yep, oh my god. It's not all seeing eye. Now I gotta keep my camera on it. So that's this Earth moon. Okay, there we go. That's what it is. That's my damn all seeing eye. Projecting out. That's the Earth moon planet. Let's get ready to go behind the eye. So the eye's connected to Nepicity. So that I must be one of its moons. And then there we go, Atu. Look at that mountain. That's an upside down mountain. Oh my god. Look at the, look how they're coming around. Look look at the um look at the landmass, y'all. This is this is landmass. You, you, you feel me? I can't get this wrong. You know why? Because I've been on it too long. Long enough. Wow. Hang tight. Alright, so I just um I'm switching between cameras. One is connected to my stick, one is more specific in detail. So there's a, oh my God. This is the big planet, Earth planet. It's kind of moving along, getting closer. Uh, this is my, my freaking all seeing eye. See the mountain terrain on it? That's one. And then this one right here. It's freaking insane. Let me put you on this one for a minute while I look at the eye with my night vision. Yeah, that's my all seeing eye. Let me shift around to my all seeing eye. Look at it. 
same characteristics. There's the iris, like I said. <laughs> it's close. It's so close, it's starting to look like um, like it always looks. All right, y'all should see a jet get ready to come into view of the, my all and I. That's freaking damn awesome. You should see the jet to the left. There it is. Hot damn. Now the little Earth Moon planet it disappeared behind it. You can see the jet. Let me zoom in on them if I can. All right. It's about to go across my eye. So that's your whole planet, y'all. So like I said, starting from here, it's coming down, going around. See it blasting off as an even sphere. Goes off into the distance. Come back around and back around. Can't mess that up. All right, so you, you see that one. And this one starts here, goes around into the cloudage, comes all the way around and back out. Yep, there it is. Boom. Can't mess that up. And it's sitting on this cloud right here. And this cloud, and there's the moon. There's the moon right there. So that's got to be one of the moons of these planets. And see how it's lighting up the clouds? That's the base cloud right there. And this jet is going through the eye. Past it. I don't know how close it is. No, he's still in front of it. So, boom. He's still in front of it. I want to see him disappear into the clouds. If it's an earth cloud, the thing is close. He's going across it. He's, uh, he's getting his data. Across my all and I. This is freaking insane, man. I'm gonna be straight with y'all. This is very distressing because I see this stuff getting closer. Y'all seen my videos of where it was far out. This is our all and I. Let me show you the iris again for those that might not be paying attention or don't care to believe. So this is the whole iris. Like a, per a human eye, right? And then that's the eyelid right there. And then it's got the um, bottom portion that's kind of obscure, but that's the bottom eyelid. And it's very huge. It, it swings around, but it's just sitting there. These are earth clouds right here. Earth clouds, earth clouds, earth clouds, earth clouds. They're all in the dark. Um, that way out there is a possible mix between earth clouds and planetary clouds. That right there. But because these clouds are close to the sun and to the back of uh we're on the other side of the sun they might have bodies in them but earth clouds in the mix with atmospheric clouds and is all seeing not very close it, it keeps the same characteristic and it's following the sun as the sun goes down it follows the sun literally so i'm guessing that's its north uh because it al it's always looking at the sun so that's got to be its north Hole tight, it's positive charge in the eye. So, whatever this planetoid is, it belongs to the Pisity. The all seeing eye. And it makes sense, it rotated around with every passing day that it, you know, through its orbit. Because it started out to my left, and that's over to my own. Um, right side of the sun as it sets in the west. Y'all, this is effing scary. For all the slow people, I'm, I'm slowing this down so y'all can really get a good look. And I'm not trying to insult you, I swear to God, I want for everybody to know what's going on. This this ain't no joke. Anybody that's heckling at this point, you're getting paid to come over to my page and try to provoke me, but it's not gonna work. Trust me, me chewing your ass out, don't mess up my anger. I'm just putting you in check because you don't have the comprehension skills to understand what's going on or you're getting paid off to try to irritate me. Either way you lose. Either way, at the end of the day, end of our lives, this stuff is going to intersect with the earth at some point. And just like the Bible said, it's gonna throw brimstone. The angel's gonna throw brimstone down on the earth. Where do you think it's coming from? These heavenly bodies, and it's not being thrown at the earth. We're just gonna intersect with it. 
or it's going to intersect with us, however that works, and we're going to catch it. We're going to get lit up. Nuclear bombs everywhere. Brimstone is going to run through people and they're going to pour out like dung. Meteorites are going to fly through people like bullets going quadruple the speed of freaking sound or whatever. It's going to pierce them real fast and they're just going to die and all their insides are going to pour out like dung. Why do you think this is uh, spoken about? More than likely because it's happened before. They ain't going to just make up no stuff. The people that are trying to put y'all in La La Land and Fairy Tale Land make everything seem like it's nice and cushy and that y'all are in control, they just lie to all of you. Because when the Lord has his day, since that's what y'all, that's how y'all talk, when my God has his day, a lot of y'all are going to be past regretting. A lot of y'all ain't going to make it. The ones that have all so much hate in you that all you can do is insult people because they're using big effing words and that they're being intelligent and these ain't planets, these are just clouds like Alex keep, keep saying, it, why don't you go on Alex's page, where's Alex now? He'll, he'll probably pop his head up since I said something about him, but it's going to be a losing conversation, especially if it's on this topic. I wore him out with that, um, with my evidence, because he was getting at the Planet X Hunter, trying to use him as a weak link, but he would never come over to get at me. And I gave him an open challenge, and it still stands. I have no problem losing, y'all. I'm just trying to learn. So if I'm a man enough to say I have no problem losing, then I let you know how much of a man I am. I'm not no little boy trying to be the winner. With uh huh, uh huh. I told you I was right. Uh huh. No, we're trying to figure this mess out. There's my eye. Rolling. It's rolling away. It's rolling towards the sun. Oh man, that's pretty. So you can see the top of the, like I said, the eyelid right here. There's an actual iris, and it goes all the way around in the bottom portion. We look at it sideways. Oh yeah, the bottom portion is right there. It's not more than a mountain. The all seeing eyes, nothing more than a mountain. Just taking a go uh, look at it with my other cameras. I got more than one camera, um, so I can get different high def definitions. Yeah, but that's your planet, and then the rest of it's going into the dark right here. You can see it literally going into the dark. See the iris right here, trading plasma with this planetoid, rocky joint deal. And you can see it. See the moon, the moon is in the full. No clouds around the moon. There's your moon. No clouds around it, it's just in the dark side of this, this planetoid. And there's a, a whatever, like another planetoid or a moon asteroid being lit up right there. And like I said, it's trading plasma. Back to my all seeing eye. All right, so I just flipped my car around um, so that the camera can see um, this my all seeing eye before it, before it um, fades out. And after that, I'm concluding. All right, so we see that, and then that's my other plant toy. Man, God got y'all food for y'all. The ones that don't want to see, God's got y'all food, and so does your government. He just kept it hidden in plain sight. Actually, he probably didn't. They probably just wanted to hide it. Um, yeah. It's funny how people that don't own crap want to keep everybody uh, in a low state of frequency. So nobody will figure out nothing so they can be the only ones with the secrets. Some of y'all are notorious for that and you make me sick. Got another Kim fella. Hit it across my eye. Let me show you. And where is it? There he is. Let me go switch, let me switch over to my other camera. Right, let me see if I can catch him before he gets away. There he is, he's getting away. The center. Anyways, do see him. It ain't, ain't no big deal to sweat him. Just want to show all the sea. So I'm about to conclude this, but we see our bigger uh, planet. No, I'm seeing our attached an opacity over here. Like literally has covered up the whole sky and then we see the rest of it right here. Over here. Um, this has to be a two. 
crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up, but it's, you know how, how I get down. It's always a pleasure for me to bring this to you all. Um, for the naysayers, I'm sorry that you can't keep up, but if you happen to see the light one day, uh, when one of these passes over your head, at least even the you naysayers has been, you can say, okay, well, he did show me this. Now I'm starting to see the pattern and you can freak out, poop yourself, act up in your yard, do the funky chicken, fall out, choke yourself, and then uh, throw up, and then get yourself back to normal, and then come back and you can issue me an apology. I might decide to take it. I'm not that petty. I probably will. And then, um, then I'm gonna digitally send you an ass kick in the, over the net, kick you right in your butt, a boot to a, a, a freaking butt cheek. All right, so we'll go ahead and and wrap this up. And if I'm wrong, you can digitally butt check me too. I don't care, cause I know I'm right. <laughs> With my arrogance and my big words. Man, you think these words are big. Wait till I really hit you with my six and eight syllable words. And yes, that does exist. Plus. Alright, third I came. We out of here. Just showed y'all the sky for August 4th. Let me zoom in on the moon one more time. Alright, we out of here. Poof.